Tonight's 7 News headlines, heartbreaking pictures from the state central west, a Sydney family rescued from floodwaters, but a young child swept away. His body recovered this afternoon. The United States is set to fast track delivery of nuclear submarines to Australia to ward off threats from China. No cheer for the red and white Sydney smashed as the grand final returns to the MCG. And Eels fans are still celebrating. They're through to the NRL decider, ready to tackle either the Panthers or Rabbitohs. Now, here's Sally with Sydney's weather. Thank you very much. And well, while the flooding rains are easing tonight across parts of the state, the threat is far from over. We've also seen some thunderstorms this afternoon, drenching parts of the east coast. The storm struck Sydney as that southerly pushed through. Very light falls, though, after a high of 19 degrees in the city today. Uh, the heaviest falls from those storms and showers were through our western suburbs and also around Terry Hills and Richmond. They saw eight millimetres there. Bankstown and Horsley Park picked up around five and around four millimetres in the gauges at Campbelltown, with temperatures is generally around the 21 degree mark. Now, storms have been fuelled by that low that has been tracking through the state. It's also been driving intense rain across parts. We have, of course, a spate of flood warnings still in place tonight, even as those showers start to ease. Sunday, it's expected to be pretty calm across the bulk of New South Wales thanks to that high pressure system. Unfortunately, we have another low pressure system set to sweep in on Tuesday. At this stage, it won't be too heavy along the coast, but models are picking up. We might see some decent falls through inland locations, including the Central West, uh, so we will keep a very close eye on that situation there. Around the capital cities for tomorrow, though, sunny and 27 degrees into Brisbane, Perth heading for a top of 19 degrees, a little bit of cloud at times, Adelaide a top of 20 degrees with rain at times. For our state, sunshine is certainly the story tomorrow, and isn't it looking good? 27 degrees and sunny in Perth, through the Riverina it will be dry and clear, Wagga Wagga heading for a top of 18 degrees, mostly sunny through the south Western Slopes and Plains as well. Young heading for top of 18 as well. Sunshine returning to the coast tomorrow. Uh, Coffs heading for 23 degrees and 21 degrees for Byron Bay. Well, it will be a pretty spectacular day across Sydney tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine and warm too in parts. 24 degrees for Penrith, 23 through Liverpool. Slightly cooler along the coast thanks to the sea breeze. 19 degrees in Bondi. On the water tomorrow, we can expect sour-westerly winds around 15 knots, variable by the afternoon. A low of 12 tonight, heading for 21 in the city tomorrow with those clear skies. Monday looking very similar at this stage too. Then we've got that low-pressure trough arriving into Tuesday. That will trigger another bout of wet weather. At this stage, it doesn't look particularly heavy, although, as you can see, the showers will last pretty much for the bulk of the week. In terms of rainfall, the heaviest falls will really be on Tuesday as it arrives. So, guys, pretty much make the most of it. The next couple of days because unfortunately the wet weather will return. All right, good advice, Sal. Thank you for that. And that is seven news for this Saturday. We'll have updates for you throughout the evening. Weekend sunrise starts at seven tomorrow from all of the seven news team. I hope you have a great night. Good night.